the storage and organizing your tools. Traditionally, carvers use a tool roll. And the tool roll is designed to where you put your handles in the pockets. The pockets are alternating. Uh, these pockets, uh, this one here is in between here. So when you roll the, the, uh, the tools up like this, these two handles, the cloth on that protect the cutting edge. Same here. So cutting edge of the tool is tucked in between the two handles. So that's the concept of this. And when they use this, what they do is they bend it over a two by four like this here and all the points are sticking up. It's uh, kind of hazardous to use because all the sharp points are exposed and I don't like to use a tool roll. So I use it to store some of the tools that I am not using very often. I also like to cover it with this over added protection. And now you can see that the tool roll can get pretty bulky in your hands. And so I'm going to show you, some of you have seen my other tool holder that I use for transportation and for organizing my tools. The one that I've had at the workshop with my tools in, it's narrow. That's the profile of the bottom. That's the cover over it. And my tools are all stuck in the inside. The tools are all sticking right outside the top. Every tool has a certain location, and it's, you quickly memorize where each of the tools are. So I have organize my number three chisels, the V-tools are back here, and I know exactly by looking at this quickly if I'm missing any tools. The other thing is, is all these tools are sitting on the ferrule. They are not touching the bottom of the hole. When sand and dirt from the shop come around, you're sanding, and sand gets down in that hole, if that cutting edge was to go down and hit the sand in the bottom, it would dull it. Periodically, you might need to clean it, so that's why the holes go all the way through, and I have a plate on the bottom here that I can unscrew and take it off. The design of the system here is I can travel with this. So I put the cover on, and... I put it in my check luggage when I'm flying in that, and by doing that, I also put on the ticket that I have sharp tools in my luggage. I insure my tools, the tool bag, the carving tools, and the rest of the stuff I have in there for like $1,000. So, but this thing can go upside down and all over. And by doing that, it just kind of cleans out the holes. I already got a pile of sawdust here on the bench from all the sawdust that come out through the holes here. That's the one that I have on my bench. These are the tools I use most of the time. The other one that I have, you can see as narrow as it is, it can tip over pretty easily. So... I have another one that I use when I am carving like on site without my bench. And this one here is kind of square. So it's sturdy on the floor and also has the same kind of hasp lock on it. And the top pulls off and it's tapered. So I can just drop the top on here. So when I'm working a site or something and there's kids around, I, when I take a tool out of there, then I just drop the cover over the top so they don't get at the tools. Again, the same design all the way through with the hole and then the bottom can be unscrewed. There's four screws on the bottom to clean out the holes. So that's a real good way to organize it. The other thing that's really ideal about it is when you memorize where all the tools are, you don't have to look for your tools. Traditional carvers have the tools on the bench that are laid side by side, but they're never laid in any order.
when they they generally put the last tool where they're picking up the next tool and they have to look at the blades on the end to see what tool they have and they can spend quite a bit of time when you get a a dozen tools out there you're looking for the one that you want 